Actually, Voice of Tibet was started in 1996 on May 14 from Oslo, Norway. And the main mission behind is like uh, the Tibetan people inside Tibet. They do not have any sort of information. And they are just what we call ourselves. Like Voice of Tibet is the voice of the voiceless people inside Tibet. People inside, they get information only what China informs them. And that is why to give unbiased news on Tibet and the voice of Tibet was started. And that is why like we try to bring the news on Tibet throughout the world to the people inside Tibet. Most of the time they said they let the His Holiness Dalai Lama's teaching and the speech and the uh, news what happened in Tibet, they said they want to know more because the information were blocked, so they uh, couldn't know anything about Tibet. So through our program, they want uh, they will learn more, and they said it's very uh, enjoyable that to know um, many new many information on what happened in Tibet. Like getting information from outside Tibet is very easy. We can get information now and then, but getting information from inside Tibet is very difficult. We do get information, but again, like when you get information from inside Tibet, the people giving information to us will be in great danger and they might get arrested. But also somebody seen listen to our radio program, he or she will be in trouble like anything. So that's why getting information from inside Tibet, we do get, but it's really a very, very danger for people inside. Initially, when Voice of Tibet was started, we have program only in Tibetan language. But uh, in 19, year 1999, December 10, we started Chinese language program because like uh, Chinese people in mainland China and throughout the world should know the real story of Tibet. The Chinese people, uh, they, they also want to know more about um, the Tibetan, Tibet course and the uh, movements happened in, in international areas. People, Tibetans and Tibetan uh, people who know Tibetan language throughout the world, they can listen to our radio through internet. But people living in exile, including India, Nepal, Bhutan, they can listen to our program through short web as well as through the satellite. Inside Tibet, they can listen to our program through short web plus satellite. And the Tibetan area where the Chinese jamming is not that powerful, they can also listen to our program. At least I can say that the 60% of the Tibetan area inside Tibet, we are covering very well. We do have a good number of audience listen to our program every day. <laughs> 